Sisa the Space Dragon. Here's a picture of her. As you can see, she has purple, blue, and black, and other colors. And here's a 3D model of her. And this is where we might find her in the story, The Crystal Cavern. So let's get started. Marcissa, the space dragon. Welcome to the future. We call it the space era. And I am Sia, and I will take you through my enchanted forest. Can you hear the birds chirping? The wind blowing? Can you see the peacocks gracefully dancing, the eagles gliding smoothly in the sky, and the silly squirrels running about? Can you, can you, <laughs> can you smell the cherry blossom in the air? Careful, there are magical stones that can change your life. Do you see the wild vines ahead and the brilliant, bright, shining, light coming through them that is the crystal cavern this cavern is not only holds the most beautiful and precious gems in the world but also a piece of my heart my dearest friend from this from the far away sparkly way galaxy used to once live here her name is marcissa she is a space dragon there is a pond inside this cavern, surrounded by crystalline flowers. It is a magical place. Let me take you all in. Did you know when the sun sets, the crystals in this cavern start to play mesmerizing music? You can all touch the magical crystals. They have healing powers and make you feel energized. Please sit down around the pond and try not to stare too much at the crystals or else you'll just get hypnotized. <laughs> when I was just a wee little girl, I was lost in this cavern and was scared like a girl in the woods. That's what I heard, a small growl. When I looked seriously over my shoulder, I saw the most gentle, beautiful dragon Ever. Marcissa. Marcissa looks like space itself. Her colors are a deep violet, indigo, and black. She sparkles with a rare brilliance. She has a long, spiky body, much like a snake with wings. She roars when she's super angry. Is like a lion's roar and a snake's hiss put together. But when she has a sore throat, like a cat, a big red cat, Marcia can fly gracefully like an eagle in the sky and she slithers on the ground like a snake. She's delicate but invincible. Sissa was as startled as me when we first met each other for the first time. She looked lost and lonely in this very cavern. I heard, had a box of macaroons and I carefully approached her with the sweets. To my surprise, she loved macaroons and emptied the whole box. That is how we became best, best, best friends. I would visit her often with a box of macarons. She told me she was trapped here in the cavern since a few days when she was exploring our 